So the HALA method is a, a way of approaching clinical dysfunction that takes into account five areas that affects the vast majority of clients we see. And if you don't address all five areas at some point, there is not complete resolution. Mm -hmm. And one of the areas is nutrition. Nutrition is a huge component of so many of the meltdowns and things, parasites, red dyes, gluten, casein, um, soy, all the allergens, those are issues and not having enough vitamin B. And it sounds crazy, but vitamin B is produced in your gut. If your gut is dysbiosed, you don't have enough of the stress vitamins. You lose your shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so addressing nutrition is an important piece. There's no point to growing a brain if you've got no fats in your diet, mm -hmm. if you've been on a low-fat diet. Yeah because your brain requires specific fats to actually increase um, speed, processing speed. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you don't have enough fats in your diet, there's, we, we can work as long as we like, we're not gonna really make progress. Mm -hmm. So I, I need to address nutrition. Most of my clients come to me because there was some sort of trauma. If I don't actually address the physiological response of their body to trauma, their body is locked and the muscles don't, um, don't move where I need them to move. So I can't change anything because the muscles are locked down. So I have to address trauma. I have to address their stress response because if they have pathological stress responses, I only have access to one half of their brain at any given time, okay. which totally defeats the point of anything. We, for us to be integrated human beings, we have to have a cohesive whole. Okay. And if we don't access both our creative side and our sequencing side, we actually don't end up with a end product that's where we want to go. We can't get ourselves where we want to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that it also blocks communication. It blocks our ability to express ourselves. Um, and it can block your ability to remove yourself from danger. Okay. So, um, I need to address stress management, mm -hmm. crucial part. So, so we've done nutrition, trauma, stress management. Then we have to establish connectivity. So, in other words, I in within myself, I have to be able to connect to myself. I can't be dissociated, but I can't just be dissociated with myself. I can't be dissociated from important people either. I have to attach right. to a, a significant other and to community. And if I don't create those attachments, I end up an isolated being and we are mammals. We are social beings. Mm. Um, and that's an important component. So connectivity to body and connectivity to social. So that's where identifying in your body so that I can bring empathy so that I can, th those connectivities. Mm -hmm. And then once I've got a lot of those pieces in, I also have to deal with all the neurological structures, the development that I can have a choice in my response to any kind of stimuli. Okay. So the HALA method altogether establishes choice within safety. Uh -huh. 